bringing Indonesia become the global maritime axis. Indonesia is one of the largest island countries in the world, which consists of 17,504 islands, Indonesia with an area of 6,315,222 km per square of waters, and with a length of 99,093 km per square coastline. Through Government Regulations No. 10, Year 2015, President Joko Widodo's government formed Coordinating Ministry for Maritime Affairs. The task of Coordinating Ministry for Marine Affairs to organize the coordination, synchronization, and controlling the affairs of the Coordinating Ministry for Maritime Field occurs the synergy at work to maximum. Coordinating Ministry for Maritime Affairs addresses four main agendas to bring Indonesia as a global maritime fulcrum. Uphold marine sovereignty through maritime diplomacy, cooperation in the field of maritime affairs, territorial disputes, piracy and sea pollution. Indonesia established an archipelagic and island states A's forum along with 21 Asia-Pacific countries in 2018. Negotiation and resolution of maritime boundaries and one million sovereign fishermen's priority program being a program of implementation of the enforcement of maritime sovereignty manage the natural resources and services. Maritime assets will be used as much as possible for the benefit of the people in Indonesia. The wealth of Indonesian marine, such as fish, shrimp and other various types of marine animals made the citizens of the world become fond of Indonesian seafood. Therefore, Indonesia must work hard and smart in managing its natural resources. The government committed for making Indonesia as a state of self-sufficiency in salt. After succeed with consumption salt production, coordinating Ministry for Maritime Affairs then facilitate pharmaceutical salts to industrial salts. The government encourages acceleration of mangrove rehabilitation to protect the coastal and marine environment and to manage maritime disasters. Mangrove damage increases the potential of coastal abrasion, which is farther away from national borders. The government formed a regional team to prevent oil spills in the sea. The government also focuses on building seafood sovereignty through the development of the fishing industry by placing fishermen as the main pillar. Develop the infrastructure. The government encourages infrastructure development and maritime connectivity by building sea tolls, seaports, logistics and shipping industries. The implementation of the sea toll supported by a system of distribution and consolidation of goods that mark by the operation of 13 routes in 2017. Some domestic airports were upgraded and developed into international airports to support maritime tourism programs in order to achieve the target of 20 million foreign tourists visit until 2019. Human resource, science and technology, and maritime culture develop. The effort of coordinating Ministry for Maritime Affairs to increase the insight and love of maritime and community service for the younger generation. Organize community service programs in outer islands in the territory of Indonesia through Expedisi, Nusantara Jaya. Geopark development contributes to Indonesia's efforts to achieve sustainable development goals SDGs. In this case, Luhud bin Shah Panjaitan, as the coordinating minister for maritime affairs, believes the geopark can be an alternative solution to the use of natural resources for economic revival and environmental protection. See as the future of Indonesia and therefore, Indonesia must be the center of world civilization, President Joko Widodo speech, 2014.